fancy girl, you fancy. You fancy girl, you fancy. <laughs>
If you're wondering why they suddenly look shorter, I literally just got a scissor and kept the same shape that they had but made them a bit shorter so they're less in my eyes. Anyway, next. This one was inspired by Jamie Jo. I remember she posted a tutorial on Reels, I think, and it was a sleek half up, half down do with a side fringe. So I'm hoping it works on thicker, shorter hair. I'm using a comb to just create this side part. Then we're just gonna clip that side fringe away. Now I'm gonna glaze here with some gel all along the top of my head. We're gonna leave half the hair out and tie the rest into a high pony. I'm using the Demon brush again to brush up all my hair into that ponytail, just to make it look nice and sleek. I've never done this style before, so I'm hoping it turns out okay. Just tying that nice and tight. I'm gonna add some of this Natalie Ann styling cream to this long fringe bit. So I've brushed that out. Bring it over your ear and then you need to pin that back. Now I'm just gonna put some gel on that little brush again and just neaten up my baby hairs. To make a hairstyle look more formal and sleek, this is a good trick, is to have a little brush like this and just neaten up all the edges of your hair. I feel like it just elevates any kind of look that you're trying to achieve. I'm just glazing a bit more gel because my bangs are short, they kind of they kind of pop out and they don't stay. <laughs> it's easier if you have longer hair for this look. All right, so you can leave it like this, but for a more formal look, I would use a curler and just go in over any fuzzy bits. I would also just spray my hair and add some cream to make them look nice and shiny and fresh. But for something quick like this, I'm just gonna use my curler. This is from GHD, by the way. Let me know what you think of this one. I think it suits longer curls better, but let me know what you think. Let's move on. All right, so this is what it looks like after you brush out your curls. Next, we're gonna do a slicked back ponytail. I'm gonna start by using a comb to part my hair in half. I'm using this Davro Curly Q Activator spray just to dampen the top of my head. And with an elastic in my hand and a brush, I'm just going to start brushing my hair back into a low ponytail. I'm also just glazing some gel all over my scalp. I'm actually going to use a rubber band instead of an elastic band. I don't recommend this for everyday use because it does pull on your hair, but for special events when you want a really, really slicked updo, add two bobby pins to a rubber band. Insert one of the bobby pins into the base of your ponytail. Grab the other bobby pin and wrap it around. Don't let go of your ponytail and you can wrap it as many times as you like. I just do it twice and then you pin that bobby pin into the base. That's gonna hold your ponytail in place all day. And I'm just making sure my baby hairs are nice and slicked again. And to make sure the curls look nice and juicy, I'm just gonna spray some curl spray. And that's how I do a slick back ponytail. I get asked about this one a lot. It's what I do when my curls look like this, but I want them to look fancy and nice. I'm gonna start by separating my fringe. Once you've clipped your fringe out of the way, glaze some gel along your scalp. I'm also putting some gel along the back of my head. Now I'm just brushing. We wanna tie the hair into a tight, high bun, so I'm just brushing everything back. I grumba. Oh, this is tiring doing all these hairstyles and just twisting my hair into the smallest bun that I can and using elastic to secure that. I'm using this bun extension from insert name here. You basically pop it on over your natural bun and it's got built-in clips that you just clip into your natural bun. So then we're left with this and all we need to do is curl these front bits. So as I've said before, you can wet them, put some cream and wait for them to dry. But I just find if you're in a rush or if you want your curls to last all day for the special event, I use my curler. And 
and I just make sure to touch them. I make sure to like brush them through with my fingers so they look a bit more natural. Sometimes they are my natural curls and then other times I use the curler so it just depends how well my natural hair is sitting. I pulled out these two bits as well just because I thought it needed a bit more hair flowing down. I get a lot of requests for this style and it's so easy and you probably didn't know that this was fake hair. It just looks so natural and I love it. Love it! Now I've just slicked my fringe back into that tied bun and I want to show you what the bun extension looks like without my bangs. It still looks really cute. So I'm just clipping it on like I did before. I love this so much. I feel like it elevates any look, whatever dress you're wearing. It's perfect for a wedding if you just want to feel snatched and glowing. For this last one, we're not using any of my natural hair. We're using these curly extensions from insert name here. So starting off with a slicked bun like I had before, I'm going to clip the first piece down at the bottom of my head. This one has three clips. I just clip them along like that. Then I'm getting the four clip piece and clipping that along the middle of my head. And I'm clipping the last piece at the top. So once you have those three back pieces in, there's this ponytail piece which you wrap around your bun. Using the built-in clip, I'm securing it at the base of my bun and then, then I'm just wrapping that strand around the base. And then just using a bobby pin to pin that strand to the back of my bun. I love this hair so much, it looks so cool. And there you have a beautiful, long, curly, wavy updo. I'll leave a link to the extensions that I used in the description if you guys are interested in trying them out. Let me know which hairstyle was your favorite and what you're going to try out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.